110 degrees out. God damn. But what do we do in this Florida heat? We create shit. That's what we do. Oh yeah, we're gonna build this curb crusher today. My friend Cole. <laughs> has this board and I skated it and uh, I love the shape. It reminds me of the 80s. So I told him, I was like, man, I'm gonna build one of those one day. Today's the day, yeah. Picked all this up in my local, nobody skate shop, 215s. Yeah, yesterday I got in the mail my titanium inverted kingpins. Oh yeah, they are light, they weigh nothing. So we're gonna throw those in some custom black base plates. So we're gonna hook that up and possibly re-drill. This has got a wheelbase of 14.75. That's too goddamn long for me. So uh, we're knocking that fucking nose back for sure. Maybe the tail, but the tail looks huge. Big old whale tail on this baby. Yeah, look at that. Roughly right around five and a half inch nose, 5.4. So knock that three quarters of an inch. And we'll have a 6.25 nose for the 14 inch wheelbase. So I can accept that, yeah. Got that 5.4 nose. Got that seven inch tail. 31.25 inches long. Yikes. 10.25. Yeah, so we're gonna redrill the nose, get a 14 inch wheelbase. Figure out how we're gonna grip this thing. Oh no, it's a very cool shape. Yeah, digging it. Hmm. Yeah, cool. First, let's build these titanium inverted kingpin trucks. Say shit. Etang skates. Thanks for the recommendation. These things are awesome. Look how much thread you get. These things are still wobbling. Yeah, I get some. God damn, that might look good. All right, we got a six inch nose now. Look at that. Here, do some crook grinds. Pew. Make sure you all stay hydrated out there. It's so fucking hot. Welcome back to the Smoker's Lounge. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna kick back and just stare at that board and uh, see how I wanna create the grip tape. Truth is, if most people really knew your story and all the things you've been through, they'd probably wonder how you're still smiling. So, if you don't hear it from anyone else, I'm proud of you. Okay, here's how I've been thinking about the grip. I'm gonna uh, trace the entire thing, which I barely just got enough grip. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna trace it, then cut the inside line, and then cut it, just have a nice verge stripe, 80s style. I think that'll look cool and clean. What do you think? Okay, I got it all traced. I'm gonna cut the inside line. Okay, really happy with the way this came out. Yeah, it's ought to be fun. Final grip job. 
Yeah, it came out amazing. I added 11 hearts. The number 11 is recognized as the most spiritual vibration in numerology, and individuals with this number have a paramount mission in life to aid others. People with this number have a unique set of skills that can be attributed to their keen intuition, which appears to others as clairvoyant or psychic ability. Their powerful insight is directly linked to their empathetic nature, and they are known for being sensitive, charismatic, intelligent, responsive, relatable, intuitive, respectful, and mature. They possess a strong intellect and perceptive nature, which makes them appear to have supernatural gifts. They are incredibly creative and often stand out from the crowd. Individuals with the master number 11 are loving and observant, and they have no trouble accepting and considering different viewpoints. First true love. Okay, before we start mounting everything, we have a little John's order showing up today. Box full of risers, rails, so I'll have a couple different options to choose from to build this. But until the postman arrives, I was thinking, what if we Dexter splattered the black base plates with the neon green? You know, that might look cool. Keep that theme going. At least one more time. Shit. Okay, yeah. Well, the base plate's dry. We're gonna pull out some brand new 53 millimeter by 93A conical dragon wheels. Oh yeah. We'll pull these out, wash them off, and we'll try these out. And we have fresh out the dye tank, washed, cleaned, and dried. Oh yeah. He's been in there for about a week. So perfect timing. All right, we need some bearings. And now I got some purple. All right, this should fit this thing nice, especially them colors. Oh yeah. All right, let's get these trucks and wheels built. Man, they came out looking pretty sick. Yeah, so once the little John's uh, order gets here, we'll mix and match some of the new parts that are, and see what it looks like. But I heard the postman. Oh yeah, he's been here. God damn, is it hot, holy fuck. Whew. Oh my God. Oh yeah, look at that. Booyah. Lil John's. Okay, yeah, postman came early today. Cheers the healers. Damn. Make sure you hydrate. Okay, let's get into this. Okay. Ooh, man, there's all kinds of goodies in here. This is like fucking Halloween. Got a trick or treat bag. Got some custom 5 8 thickness slop jars. These are for my Dag Swampzilla. I'm going to dye these black. I'm going to throw them in the black dunk tank. Yep, right there. Not one, but two sets of 5 8 custom slop jar risers. Yeah, I'm going to dye these blue. 
Those are for my mutate. Ooh, hot pink, 3-8 slop jars. We got quarter inch, hot pink slop jars. Ooh. Got some yellow rails. Got some yellow snot drip rails. And we got some blue skinny moss. Oh yeah. Okay. Got the yellow standard snot drip rails. Yellow skinny moss, blue skinny moss. Those are my favorite little John rails. Quarter inch, three eighths, five eighths, five eighths. Not too bad. Got stock for the future. Slide the best, fuck the rest. Ew. Oh boy, look how good this is looking now. Oh, that looks good. Holy shit. Now, here's the question. Which rails? We got the chain links, which these look good with the pink risers. You got the pink in here and the gums. With the black wheels, black base plates, the green. That looks really good. But then we got the yellow skinny moss or the skinny snot drip rails. Oh man. Oh wow. I love the yellow and the green and the pink. Huh. Ooh. God damn it. Decisions. Ooh. I kind of dig in the yellow and the pink and the black and the green more than the black chains, but the black chains look fucking tough. Let me tell you that. Black chains look hard as fuck. You know? Fucking mean streets right there. Damn, the yellow snot drip rails look fucking amazing on there. I think we're going with that. I think the yellow offsets it. Goes with the Florida yellow curbs. Truly a fucking curb pressure build. Okay, let's get all this mounted. Okay, with the quarter inch risers, I feel like I'm gonna get wheel bite because I'm already on the board and I'm not metal on metal. So I'm gonna put the three eighths pink risers on. Okay, let's check out the ass end. Oh, God damn, looking good, looking good. These titanium inverted kingpins use a five millimeter Allen, so. Man, we'll just turn them in. Okay, they feel about the same. Let's go and test this baby out. Ooh, sounds good. Sounds like 1986. All right, here we go. Wow. If 
fucking turns amazing. Holy shit. No wheel bite. At all. I got pull bite. Ooh, yeah. Feels good. No adjustments needed on the trucks. Just to grind them, that's it. All right, let's go put some rails on. Rails and stickers installed. Final build. Yeah, man, I'm loving it. Loving how everything came out. Just how I imagined. All right, I'm gonna do a quick little photo shoot with my pipes, cause uh, man, this background is gonna make all my pipes pop, that's for sure. And then we'll get one last test ride. And photo shoot is complete. Let's do the final test ride before we take this baby to the park and shred it. Yeah. All right, let's go. Okay, we'll see you at the park. Oh, good morning. Made it to the golden hour. Oh yeah. Gotta do a little bit of God's work this morning. All right, the curb needs a little love, especially right here. Oh yeah. We got a little separation anxiety here, so. Got a nice gloss drip line all the way down. In around. All right, we'll give that 15 minutes to dry. Let's go stretch. And do some park flowing, yeah. Ooh. Ooh, hope you can make it outside today. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna be shedding some layers here soon. It's a fucking steamy one. Oh man, that felt cool on this board. Yeah. All right. Let's see how these 215s grind. Oh, we already knew they grinded that good. God damn. Woo! That's grinding the game. Maybe some uh, 80s manual shit. Okay. Man. It is so fucking sticky out here. Like the ground and everything. Oh, all right, we got to shed a layer. It's so fucking hard to breathe. I'm just like trying to get warmed up. Ooh, all right, I'm ready to ollie. Maybe we'll do some manuals right here. Let's 
see, is this thing dry yet? Ooh, it's looking good. God damn, buttery. All right, let's hit it. Yep, that's a force break right there. Too fucking hot. God damn. Water time. Oh, I had my full body strength training yesterday, so I'm still recovering. And, uh, yeah, 30 minute disciplinary sweat session complete. We'll come back tomorrow morning, get another 30 in it. Okay, let's get home and fuel on some. Yeah, beef and eggs. That's what we're fueling this body with for future skating. Ooh, cheers to healers. Make sure you hydrate. Let's talk about the curb pressure. Okay, I had so much fun skating this morning. It's just uh, too hot. My body's too sore from uh, my strength training. So it's a recovery day. Shouldn't even have been skating, but you know, disciplinary. So tomorrow I'm gonna get a disciplinary sesh in the morning, um, but I'm gonna make one change. So this thing feels really tall. It feels taller than my Dagzilla with three quarter inch risers on it. This has three eighths and it feels taller than that. So when I was lifting up going over the curb, it felt like my wheels were almost tripping over the curb. So, and I'm not getting wheel bite at all. Then the, you know, the bushings tightened up where they need to tighten up. So I'm gonna put the quarter inch risers back on, mount the trucks on and, uh, and see how it feels where the trucks adjusted this morning. And if it feels better then it only means we're gonna skate better tomorrow, so. Okay, I swapped out the three eighths for the quarter inch pink slop jar risers. From the bushings being broken from this morning, where they're adjusted, really forced it to get wheel bites, so I think I'll be all right. We'll find out. Let's go do our wheel bite test. Yeah, it feels even better. I haven't touched wheels yet. Ultimate test. Nope. No wheel bite. Ooh. Yeah, they feel perfect now. Yeah, they were just a little bit too high. I could just tell. It felt weird. No. Ooh, ooh. 
Okay. We'll see you at the park. For that golden hour sesh. Yoop. Good morning, good morning. From the golden hour. Although it's not that golden, just humid. Yeah, we got rain coming any minute. And they said it's gonna be here all week, so. We gotta get it while the getting's good. But before we get some, we got some. Waxo wax, straight from Texas. Supposedly, best of the best. I'm just gonna put it to the test. See if it's better than our local Florida wax. Ultra slappy wax. But this looks like some good shit. All right, let's butter this baby up. Okay, I got a good coat of this Waxo wax on Curbzilla. And one thing I noticed is that there's very little shavings falling off this thing. You know, golf wax, you just get fucking white shavings everywhere. A lot of other skate wax shavings come off everywhere, which aren't bad. You can fill in little cracks and divots with it. But uh, this went on pretty fucking solid. So. Ani, you ready for some grinds? All right, this demo's for you. Ew. Wax oh wax. Let's test it out. High speed. I wax I wax some fucking slick ass shit. I'll see if I was gonna get it first try. Ooh, 15 minutes. And we gotta hydrate and fucking shed some layers. Holy shit. Ooh, oh. Other than that, what I was feeling yesterday is when I went to lift up on the curb, it was like my wheels were dropped down so low from the tall risers, it was like hitting the curb, just going up. But I haven't experienced that today with the quarter inch risers. And, uh, yeah, it feels good. It feels even better than yesterday. So even happier with it, even though this isn't the, uh, sweat sesh I intend on giving the board. Today's just disciplinary 30 minutes. So I only got 15 minutes left. So I get hydrated and it's uh, starting to sprinkle now. So we're just going to go slow underneath the pavilion, go in and out on the curb and see what happens.
Oh fuck. Okay. Alright, went 20 minutes. Five minutes longer than I should have. Because it's fucking raining. They're saying it ain't gonna stop for days. So we gotta get it while we can get it. Humidity, rain or not. That's what we do. Oh. Ooh, we'll return again for more fun. Rain, rain, go away. Ooh. What an amazing sweat sesh. No hang ups with those titanium inverted kingpins at all. They got grinded, but no hanging up. Little John's rails sliding for fucking ever. God damn. Best of the best. Love my heroin skateboards. Feeds that severe addiction. Okay, we made it back to the park. We got a little open window to beat that rain. TGIF, back with the wax o wax We're gonna skim coat Curbzilla and get some grides and slides, maybe some stalls, some fun. That's what we're doing. Wax on. Blew my entire wad, 35 minutes. Fuck. Dusted. Beef and eggs. Builds a skateboard body forever. Drink more sparkling water. Yeah. Stay hydrated. Fuck was it hot today, god damn. Yeah, tomorrow if I get uh, an opportunity to skate, if uh, you know Mother Nature doesn't rain us out, I, uh, I readjusted one of my 10.4 wide boys. Got some new Little John rails on it. Had pig rails on it, but wore those motherfuckers down. You know, I go so fast on the curb, it's creating so much friction, the heat can't handle the uh, shitty rails, you know? These these little thin things, they just get hot and fucking thin and, you know? Little Johns, you can skate the shit out of them, take them off, reuse them, and, and just keep, and keep using them and using them. They got so much longevity. 
Like me. Yeah. Yeah, little John's must feed these rails beef and eggs. All right, so all in all, this has been an incredible build, one I wanted to get uh, accomplished and uh, off my memory plate, thanks to Cole. So, um, yeah, it's, it's set up perfect. It feels great. No changes need to be made. Just going to keep shredding it, keep enjoying it. And uh, last thing I want to mention is that fucking Waxo Wax. Holy goddamn fuck. That shit's so fucking slick. I can't say enough good things about it. Um, everybody that skated the curb with that new wax on it has just complimented how much smoother it is. You know, it's like less wax uh, equals more speed, smoother grinds, uh, less money. You know, really? They're not that expensive? Support small business like me, like Little John's, Waxo Wax, all these small companies. Heroin, independent support for us independent creators is uh, what we do. And uh, we enjoy doing it for everybody. We'll see you soon and have a great weekend out there. Oh, hey, welcome back to Smoker's Lounge. I'm about to have me a pipe.